How are we all doing? I am Joe DeMarco, uh, as Jason introduced me. Um, you guys have seen me around here a couple times. I've been here since we were actually over at the middle school, kind of off and on, as we lived in town, um, as I lived in town for college. Um, some of my spiritual gifts are writing, storytelling, and most recently, um, I've been diving into game design. Um, that is making video games, board games, tabletop games. Um, now let's put that into context. When I say board games, card games, video games, I mean Mario, Candy Crush, stuff like that. The casinos, that's off in its own little world and I just don't mess with that. Um, but one of the things that I was struggling with last year, around April, was that uh, I, I became unemployed and from seven years working at Napa Auto Parts. And, you know, I, I was starting to get into that mode before I was unemployed. I was getting into that mode of, hey, I'm, this is a career I could actually see myself doing for the long, long term. God had other plans. And so it kind of took me back to the core of what my spiritual gifts are and what I can do with them to shine a light on God's will and God's glory throughout the world. So I got to thinking, if kids can learn physics from Angry Birds, if they can learn colors matching from Candy Crush, why can't they learn scripture from the same style of games? Then I started looking at some of the deeper games out there, like Legend of Zelda, um, Dragon Age Origins, which is a, uh, a fantasy role-playing game, kind of like Lord of the Rings. And it, it opened my eyes to a whole new world of storytelling because nobody in the game design world wants to touch the, Bi the Bible as a core for content. And so it, I was struggling with how. You know, I've, I've always been called into ministry. I just couldn't figure out how. And whenever I prayed to God about you know, God, you want me to go into ministry, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to be a pastor? Do you want me to, me to be a, uh, you know, worship leader like Jamie? And he'd always stay silent. And Jefferson Bethke, uh, he's a speak, uh, speaking, spoken word poet and, on YouTube. And really great guy, has a great ministry. He had a video where he describes about how somebody asked him, how long have you been in ministry? And he said, well, you know, I gave my life to Christ back such and such a date. And from that day forward, I've been in ministry. And it kind of got me to thinking. It's like, you know, I think that we are called to be able to be the ministry in whatever we do. Whether it's an auto parts salesman, whether it's a game designer, whether it's an auto mechanic, whether it's the guy sitting there uh, taking out the trash Sunday or Monday morning. You know, not everybody is, is called into ministry the way Jason is, but when you give your life over to Christ, that's the important time when God wants you to step forward and say, okay, you're now a beacon for my, for my glory, for God's glory. Um, and it kind of goes into the, some of the stuff that we were struggling, or that I was struggling with through all this this journey discovery um we were reading we were going through disciple one last year uh some of the disciple classes they study uh scripture and kind of go into an in-depth portion of the of the word and you know god just kind of opened my eyes to the fact that the bible is not just this book that you sit on the shelf you know the bible is a living entity that has so much inspiration and so much calling and uh, I'll, I'll close because I think I'm rambling but um, the biggest thing is is what God's doing in my life right now is you know he as as we're going through the Bible he's revealing so much of this path of being in the ministry living that ministry um, and Michael jr. Um, he's a Christian comedian um, he says that the Bible is a lot like the, a utility bill. You're supposed to read and pay attention to the whole thing, but when the red letters show up, you'd better do something about it. And I think that's so true to us 
as as people because we sometimes just glance over it and Sunday's Sunday's over so our Bible sits on the on the coffee table throughout the week and you know I just one thing I want you guys to walk away with with this is what is the Bible to you what how can it influence your life throughout the week throughout the month throughout the year thank you Just there. Praise God. What a beautiful message. Let's pray for Joe. Lord, we thank you for his words today, and we know that when we are speaking, because you have called us, that whatever words we say, they're not rambling. They're your words, and they're holy, Lord. We thank you for this testimony, for this witness, and for us to be reminded that you've called each of us into ministry, that you've called each of us to serve, and that you speak to us each day of our lives through your word. We thank you, and we pray that continued blessings on Joe's journey. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God.